here. Um, and before we get to today's game, uh, let me just take a quick moment out to uh, thank everyone. Uh, we're getting into February 2021. Um, I've been doing a couple more videos lately, just trying to mix things up, uh, bring back our quick plays, and trying to, um, I don't know, provide more content. And uh, some of the response that I've gotten has been um, well received, let's just say. Uh, I know I'm a beginner, I'm, you know, amateurish, um, I do everything myself, I'm not, uh, I don't know, I, I, I don't think I'm professional by any means, but uh, uh, anyone who has sort of come across my channel as of late uh, and has subscribed or watched my videos and commented, uh, thank you so much. It's people like you who are interested in what I'm doing here uh, that drive me to go forward. Um, just recently, uh, not too long ago, um, I released a small game called Mighty Doom, and um, I guess for the fact that that was just a pre-release game, uh, the video sort of blew up, at least from, you know, beginning YouTuber standards. So, uh, thank everyone for sort of doing that, and if you are interested in seeing more mobile games, um, you know, I don't play everything, but anything that does sort of pique my interest, um, I do want to sort of get on my device, download, and, you know, give it a spin, uh, give you guys a taste, see if it's worth talking about, uh, see if it's worth re-talking about, because that's why I sort of do my extended playthroughs, and my replays, and stuff like that. It's just uh, the reason I sort of sort of made this channel is just to, you know, I don't like how people are sort of treating games that you play on a phone or a tablet to be sort of not worthy of attention when in fact they should be. Uh, sort of like how people who are interested in music uh, think that video gaming music is not real music. Uh, I think that's a little absurd. Um, all music is sort of worthy of attention, just like all gaming is worthy of attention. Um, if I'm playing Minecraft on my PC or on my Xbox or on my mobile device, where the game is relatively the same across all platforms, like, why does that matter? So, um, if you are interested or uh, a fan of mobile gaming, um, join me along, because uh, every game that you see in my channel can be played on a phone. That being said, um, we are sort of nearing my birthday yet again. So, last year, I took a quick extended playthrough of The Room, uh, and when I started my channel, one of the uh, playthroughs that did quite well for me was The Room Old Sins. Uh, Room Old Sins probably remains as one of my recent favorites, and the videos don't do too badly on my channel either. A lot of uh, views for parts of that game, I guess, people trying to get through the later parts. Um, nothing too tough um, as far as I can see, but, you know, uh, to each their own. Um, the Room 2 was a personal favorite of mine, and I wanted to sort of do the Room games in sequence, so last year was The Room 1, this year The Room 2, and maybe next year, if we're still going, maybe we'll get a playthrough of The Room 3. Um, I know this is an older game, but you know what? I fairly enjoyed it, and it did sort of... The Room series uh, sort of exemplifies. Yeah. <laughs> it is what makes mobile gaming uh, what it sort of is today, and being the puzzler that it is, I wanted to sort of take a shot, let's hit through the stages, it's not a long game, just like the room one, uh, and we'll see where it leads us. So let's get into the room. Of 
course, we are introduced with our tutorial. Um, I did do, all right, I'll swipe the screen to look around. Uh, double tap the, on the note to focus, gotcha. So the room two sort of introduces sort of different points of interest. You'll have your main puzzle box, but you might have something off in the distance that you can sort of focus on uh, at another point. So it's not all isolated to one table this time. <sighs> all right, so let's double tap on the note to focus. And of course it sort of holds your hand in terms of uh, getting all this stuff dealt with. So we need to open the note. All right, we're not gonna check the eyepiece in the inventory and need to go through this note first from our good old friend A.S. or I believe I called him Alfred Smith in the last game. If my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. <laughs> yeah, funny how that happened. Welcome, friend. We have much to share. Now you are blind. I'm blind? Ah, I'm blind! Now you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal that somewhere in this room and trust that you, your wits can uncover it. Oh, my mighty wits. I am not the only ghost in this place. What? There's ghosts. Go, 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 ghosts. All right, I'll click on the eyepiece now. The lens is broken because it broke in the end of the last game. Thank you. Tap back to exit the inventory. Why are you telling me to tap on the lens if, uh, if you're just going to tell me to go back? Pinch the zoom out. Yes. Zoom out further for the rest of the room. So this is where... Oh, there's two tables now. The room... Oh. All right, <laughs> let's explore the other table. Uh, double tap the round box. Oh, we must spin. <gasps> Push the button. Flip the to lid. The top of the lid. A puzzle. It looks like some objects can be moved. Much like these objects on the slider? Oh my goodness. Your... Oh, no. That one goes there. Come on. One more. One more! Donk. Slide to open the drawer. Oh! A lens. A peculiar looking lens. It's a lens-looking lens. Oh. What? I couldn't... Tap to wear the eyepiece. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Like this bludgeoned finger mark. Like, come on, can't we scrub away these... Darn fingerprints? Tap the fingerprint. Yes, I know. Pick up the piece, a small piece of shaped metal. That piece is so metal. I should try to find out where this piece is used. I have a feeling the game is going to tell me regardless. Explore the room. The room two. I think I saw something that was sort of like that here, so... The panel appears to be missing two shaped pieces. Here's one. It looks like another piece is still missing. Hold <laughs> on. Duh. Come on. This is not my first day at the rodeo here. Uh, I have a 
feeling we're not uh, quite here yet. It looks like a piece is missing. Yes, I know. All right, let's investigate the room two. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, we got another note from Alfred Smith. 23rd October, 1883. Mr. Rigby, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service. Tutorial, get out of my way. I... All right, we don't have the question mark available, so please, thank you. Uh, very thought of taking a room into our service chills my stomach, but as Mr. D. Mortafusen is fond of saying, needs must as devil, devil drives. Okay. Not as snappy as uh, ever danced by the devil by the pale moonlight, but we'll leave it for now. It falls to me, then to brief you on your ungodly task. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, all caps, it is only of value within certain small community of researchers. Right, researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of, of the uneducated man such as yourself, you uneducated man. I unconditionally demand that you do not inter interact with the object in any way do not leer at it with you know, those um, common man eyes of yours. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power underlying and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. All right, well, nice. Hey, look, I got a piece of shaped metal. This piece is also metal. Can I do anything? It doesn't seem like I can do anything here. Uh, anything with this box yet? I have a feeling that that will be a big no, but, uh, you know, like I said, I have to check anyway. All right, let's go back here. We have our metal piece. It will do something. <gasps> oh, I see. Is it a big eye? Uh, strange brass fear. This looks like it belongs somewhere. Much like everything in this game, it belongs somewhere. I have a feeling it belongs here. It's the eye. It's an eye. Oh my goodness. Schnurfenergener. Perhaps the code is hidden some in the room somewhere. It is... Nope, okay. It's like looking at the sky. Alright, let's see what's going on there. Is that was that red thing always there? Alright, moving on. Uh okay, so We need to find a clue to unlock something. It 
doesn't seem like this box has any uh, use for us yet. And I don't think any of these shapes have anything to do quite yet. It's been some time since I've actually played this. Nope, nothing there. So let's investigate around here some. Whoa! All right, that was unintentional. <laughs> Okay, so that's not going to work. <gasps> it's on the note. It says win. So we will speak the name. It says win. I said it says win. This looks interesting. I should take a closer look. Yes, we should. I'm guessing these arrows are not for decoration. The donk. I wonder if anything matches the shape. The shape of a square, you mean? Uh, no, nothing. Nothing at all. Why do you ask? Game? Perhaps it belongs on top of this box. <gasps> it's gonna shoot a laser at me! No. Alright. Okay. Backwards Ed. Hourglass shape. symbol but what does it all mean <gasps> um, okay can I take it no nope, I can just do that that's not the null Don't give me your fake nulls. We're... We're hip to your game there, game. Oh, no, oh, no. Ah! Is it gonna blind me? It's gonna blind me. I'm blind. A door. End of the room one. Black tentacle stuff. Chapter complete. You have done well to emerge from the crypt. Sound of both mind and spirit. Though I fear this is only the beginning of your trials. Illumination. Cool. So let's see if we can get through. Well, you know what? We are. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see if we can get through the next part. Now that we're actually going to get into the game proper. Uh, 
Now, this is one of the puzzles that would, when I when I started playing the room two, this was always one of those interesting puzzle rooms that um, sort of stood out in my mind. So, for the remainder of this here level, we'll be talking like this here, me mateys are. So, let's get, let's get to getting that booty. I a letter. What does he say here? Arr. There is still no sign, and my presence wore thin. In my frustration, I even scaled the four mass all capitals myself. A fool's errand. The fog so dense I can barely see me own dick deck from the crow's nest all caps let alone the helena regardless i have had the gun deck run down with the cannons all caps in readiness it is good to keep the men sharp Arr. so we put on the the lens the lens. And now we have the ship here. What? What secrets do ye yield, me ship? Oi, cannons! Are a vast scurvy dog. A key for that there portal. I feel ye be running aground with no steering wheel here, yar. So we be coming back to ye at a later opportunity. And we need something here for that there. We will look at something on ye crow's nest. And line up. We find ye a small gold key yar. Which methinks might go in here. Have ye here a strange shaped key? I need a jewel. I need more treasure. More reading for ye. It's been thirty weeks at sea. And the crew grow restless at our lack of plunder. Though I would not betray it, I share these concerns. A privateer's license is no small investment, and me investors would not be happy without a return. According to the prisoners we took off San, off the Span Espanol, we should find the Santa Helena in these waters, fresh out of New Grand Grandana. They wore simple swabs, ignorant of all the save, save the wreckings of the decks, but they spoke of some artifact of great value abroad. I gave them a place among my crew, Yar, I, I be a fair captain. My throat be a little hoarse from doing all these voices. Time to have some rum. What have we here? Intricate lock. Ah, oh, I see. I need to make the shape. Clever chest. Clever chest. 
will that work? It will not. Almost, almost. I think that will do. Now what we have we here? There be no doubloons in here. Tricksing me here, little chest. Me thinks I gotta look in this here square too. Uh, you thinks me a simpleton. Ye be wrong. like I need a piece to go in there. Do I not hit that switch? That is clearly a switch I need to be hitting. Methinks me come back here at a later time with more puzzle pieces. Oh, you thought I would not see that. Me be wrong. Yet another small key. Ah, and methinks a piece, a clue for another puzzle on that wall. And yet another clue. Me thinks we be getting closer. So let's be looking back at this ship. And let's be reading the next note from Mr. Smith. A mountain of more, a palace, a slum. Why not the quarters of a galleon of a full sail? With each dizzying step, I am whisked round the globe as simply as turning a corner. <sighs> Will you be following me path, or forging one anew? What sights? you must have witnessed if my own experience is any guide. I keep leaving notes and I urge you to be the same that we might know if our paths have crossed. Thrilling as this is, is there is something not quite right. With this place though, I struggle to define what some earthly tang of re reality that is quite missing. My accent is going from pirate to something European. I do not know. I sometimes fancy I can smell the lime and grease plant. A.S. Yarr. So what be next here? Where do we go from here? There be a chest, there be a tiny chest down there, but no luck. Do I go? Where do I go? Seems I still cannot do anything on the ship. There be pieces missing. And I must get them first. Yar. Alright, back to the chest. 
We'll figure this one out. There she blows. A strange cylinder. Yar. Let's take a look, see. Knew it. We be getting closer to the depths on this one, me hearties. Yar, this chest still produce no gold. ourselves a little bit of a chess match here. It didn't take long for us to track her down. We race north for two miles. On the deep sea currents. To overhaul her barrage. Approaching the mainlands, we turned west for two miles. Cut her off at the course. With no sign, we headed three miles back south to meet her. We sighted her, sure enough. But she cut through the cape before we could intercept. Now we must wait for the tide. That darn tide. So we go north two, west two, then south three. for the tide. Even the elements turn against us. Passage through the Cape took us four miles west. Then we soon sighted her masts four miles north of us. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. With her heavy ballast, we could we would easily overhurl her, if only this accursed fog would lift. Oh, this accursed fog. So, four west, then four north, and two more west. keyhole appears to be sealed. Yes, I understand this. I also know that she be a puzzle. That we must be puzzling. I think we keep that safe for now. I understand that stuff goes in a certain order. Yar, the tide. So four west, four north, then two west. Go, be mateys, go. Stop with the accursed reading. We have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon. And there were six miles to the south. Rapidly we closed down and she fled east too. Then back towards the cape. Now she lies north of us by just one mile. She won't reach the cape again. Sailing the high seas, the high seven seas. Ah, I see. I need to be making a picture.
So six, six south, two east, and then one north. There, me lady. A painted figurehead, I figured. Where be me doubloons? Fair enough, chest, fair enough. Therefore, we will go to the wheel. This must be oh, rose a fine now. But some roll. There be rose. There be the other half of the jewel. Yet another table. What trickery be this, Niardi? All right. What have what have ye for me? More reading? No. The Santa Helena came apart upon the rocks at eighteen hundred hours. She heaved as if the bottom had been torn from her and began taking on water at a terrible rate. Only there were no rocks. We approached as close as we dared to try, and take on survivors, but only one swore clear of the wreckage. He is some sort of scholar. World-eyed wreck of a man, tattooed blood-stained rags, clutched in his white hang knuckled fist, was some sort of sculpture that he babbled was of unimaginable power and worth. It seems our prize may not have gone without the Helena. I had it moved to my quarters for safekeeping. Yeah. I got me a weight. Or more reading? No! It's a natural tendency of this world to twist itself ever more elaborate in arrangements, like the spirals of a vortex, at once both the pattern and the system. It seems as though each room itself is a part of a wider apparatus. You must tune the room to find the glyph, and tune the glyph to find the door. All must be aligned. But to what purpose? Am I the explorer, the prisoner, or the rat in the maze? Alfred Smith. <clears throat> All right, what we, what have we here?
Methinks the weight goes on there. Arr, and it moves a little bit. What did it say? A round socket? Yarr. And nothing to be seeing from this darn lens. I have ye a small disc. Perhaps that's what be going in this hole. I have myself ye another weight. It be a square weight of nautical measures. Let ye put it on the right path. We have ye another small socket. And we cannot get into ye. We will find we will find out ye. He hid the disc. The pieces, they be coming together. Do these be all the same? We wonder. They be. We get ye another weight. I believe the weight go on here. I be wrong. The weight be trickery on me. It be go here. Yet another indentation for a hole. But where be the disc? Yar, I get ye now, I get ye now. You need to open this drawer. Therefore, these pieces must go like this. Clever drawer. I find myself another small disc yard. And we be making sure that we be doing this correct. another small weight. Arr. These weights be playing tricks on me. Things it goes on like this. You can't fool me a fourth time there, table. I get E B small disc. You be playing tricks on me.
Your me th ye thinks me be a simple man. But ye be wrong. Small weight, and yet another weight. Two weights for the price of one, yar. So this weight will go on me. And this wee weight will be going on he. small anchor and a metal clock spring and nothing with the lens but what be this What ye be doing there, Box? What ye be doing? A screwdriver! not be ready for me. Alright, we return to the ship, Yar. The anchor will be put on here. And we get ourselves a metal star. What be your secrets? I can't jimmy the lock with this screwdriver. He be wanting here. in this compartment. Could it be the spring? Looks like a keyhole. Smells like a keyhole. But I have ye no key with me.
Methinks it needs to be operating before that. Yar, I be a buffoon. I've been looking all over the place for the next clue. And be sitting here right in me face. A winding key is what we need. He thinks it goes here. I'd be right. We have ye a working clock now. But we need that key. Er, I can wind the clock. Two fifty. I have myself yet another key. I will paint myself yet another pretty picture. Shaped metal casing. But what does it all mean? This is not the Null. This is not me, Booty. You're going to take me down to the depths of Davy Jones' locker. Yarr! Another door. Another not the Null. another room. Ye have successfully navigated the secrets of the ship. Yet this grim ordeal ye become increasingly challenging. Yarr. That be it for this episode of Ye Room 2. If you enjoyed the video, Brandish ye sword to the like button. Leave ye a comment and perhaps maybe a treasure map. And subscribe to me channel for more The Room 2 and other mobile gaming goodness. Me be Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and ye be watching in the next one. Yar har me mateys. Thanks for watching.